came unto my own, and my own received me not. But as many as receive him. Love is the greatest force in the world because love is God. Love is God. And I'm sure Sister Valentine and any other nurse in here have, have had to deal with folks that probably were cursing God. But they still had to administer to them. Is that true? You couldn't go to them and they said, I don't believe in Jesus and I'm cursing God. And they're doing that, Jesus, I ain't going to work on it. You do your job. Our job is people's. If there's no people, we don't have a job. Go into all the world. All the world. Go into the world. And when you go into the world, you're going, you're saying, what is telling you? Go to the dope dealer, go to the prostitute, go to the like, go to the have and the have not. That's the world. This world is not made up of just Christian. They're not made up of just folk look like us. The world is a, con is a conglomerate of everybody. And that's why the Christians, oh, Jesus, help me. I'm trying to, and I'm, I got to stop because y'all got me into my bag now. <laughs> that's why the folk, they condemn Obama. Say so he said he wasn't going to endorse the homosexual, but he endorsed them. The man is the president of the United States. The United States is not just made up of Christians. There's every denomination. He's the president of the United States. Everybody in the United States, he's the president. He didn't come in and say, I can't, I'm not your president, and I'm not yours, and I'm not yours, but I'm theirs. That's why if you save and really born again and you don't want to get tangled up and mixed up, stay out of politics. Don't run for no office. Because where the people rule you, and, and, and you're going to have to co-bind with them to stay in. You have to co bind with them, stay in. But if you're working outside the gates, and even inside the gates, sometimes Christians are so tied up, they, they, they can't smell the coffee <laughs> for adding all the cream. Sometimes if somebody come in dressed different from us, we ostracize them. But God is coming back for a people without spot or wrinkle. How would Philip ever got that unit saved if God hadn't told him, go join yourself to his, his chariot? Go join yourself to his chariot. I'm saying this and I'm closing. This year, one of the greatest compliments I got, I think, in Christendom came from a Jewish rabbi. We had the Ecumenical Council meeting. They call it interfaith meeting here. I believe it was in was it January or February. When was that, uh, sister, was sister Robbins? February. And we had Arabs. Jews, Hindus, all of us came together. We met right here, Christians. And I was president of Ministers Alliance for 14 years. And we was getting ready to close. And the rabbi turned around and said, Dr. Hardy, he said, when you were the president of the Ministers Alliance, he said, you called us and asked could we have an inner city prayer. And nobody would criticize anybody for praying what they believe. Because we know the Jews are going to pray a Jewish prayer, the Hindus are going to pray theirs, the Arabs are going to pray they, to Allah. And we would pray to God. Rabbi, I can't think of his name, what's his, what's his, uh, but he was the first one that invited us to the temple to pray. He said he had never had any other prayer in the temple prayed. He said he didn't even know whether they, going, that they were going to put him out or not for having us there. But we came and we prayed, and we all prayed. I prayed as I always prayed. Everybody prayed, and we fellowshiped. And every three months we did that. And he said to me, he said, you know it's been over five years since you left, and we never had that again. He said, that was one of the greatest eye-opener to me. 
is to hear all of these different people pray and the way that they pray and to, to hear how the African-American people pray. He said, that was a great eye-opener to me. And he said, I missed that. He said, I thought they was going to put me out. He said, but my people embraced it. He said, will you please start that again in this city? And so next month, we're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. And what I said to them was, we don't have to agree on our theology. But at least we all believe in praying. Yes. Let's pray. Let's pray. And who knows? God brought us together in that. And so don't discount prayer. Don't discount prayer. Mother Teresa got probably more people, led more people to God than all of us in here. And she was Catholic. She led more people. She, she was able to reach more people. So let's stop writing off folk with a label. Let God do the writing off. And we try to sign up as many as we can. Does that make sense? Let's sign up as many as we can and stop writing off folks. Let's go outside the gate and start showing some love to children that their father have deserted them. They're in gangs. They're on drugs, on alcohol. Babies having babies. One of the things we, we, we ought to think about, I know you all going to get upset with me, but that don't matter. I'm, I'm aged now. I don't care about folks getting upset with me. But, and those other religions that we Say it's not. They don't have babies getting babies. See, I didn't get no amens. The secular world don't have babies getting babies. And in our communities, 